We are live. They can't see us yet. Hold on. But they can hear us. And that's what matters. Yes. Hello. Hi, sweet friend. Welcome Hi. to our show, Watercolor Happy Hour. My name is Volta Voloshin Smith. I'm the artist behind Color Snack. And this is my husband, Daniel Smith. I am Daniel Smith. Who I is, am the husband behind the artist behind Color Snack. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he is also the mixologist for our show. So on your screen right now, you will see half of the screen is me and Daniel. I'm wearing a uh, shout out to my friend, uh, Bree Smith uh, from Planet Joy. She created this design. Uh, it's a bomber jacket, black with uh, beautiful red, red, magenta, green paint splatters. Uh, and I am a white female with medium length hair and pink glasses. Yep. And I am a guy with a curly ponytail and black shirt and blue glasses. I'm about six feet tall. And then on the my... other side yes. of the screen, you see a close up of our ingredients for today's cocktail. I'm very excited. This is a special episode honoring International Women's Day. Yes, this episode goes out to our mothers. We'll repeat that a few times yes. because who knows when they're going to show up on the screen. <laughs> Technology is hard. No. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Stuff goes through pipes. People see things. Yeah, but it happens. Um, basically, uh, yeah, we dedicate this episode to our moms, uh, Mama Giorgetta and Mama Patrizia. Thank you so much for um, for. For making us. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for everything that you've done for us, for all your support and your love. Um, no, your turn. As you can see, that was very scripted in practice. <laughs> yes, uh, it, yes. Well, we love our mothers. They're wonderful. It's so nice. Volta's going to see her mother uh, next week. Uh, she's going to Alabama to see them. Uh, ostensibly to celebrate her father's birthday, but also to see her lovely family. Yeah. Uh, my mother recently moved to Dallas. It is such a, I'm not a particularly religious person, but I would say it's a blessing. It's, it it's is lovely a blessing, to have her yes. Here. Uh, it, it's so nice. I've spent more time with my mother in the past six months than I think I have in the last 10 years. Mm. Uh, so it's so nice. And it's, it's an opportunity to celebrate International Women's Day as you know, apparently this holiday was celebrated in Europe for years. Decades. I think decades, decades. All right, but America recently figured it out, so <laughs> now it's a real holiday. Yeah. Thanks, America. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> As an American, I can say that International uh, Women's Day is now American Women's uh -huh, Day. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's... And then because of that, we celebrate it today, mm -hmm. not yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Our time zones are different. Okay. All right, Dan. Yeah. You get this one joke. I get it. Oh, I'm gonna beat this dead horse <laughs> like a drum. <sighs> Please don't make any any comments about animals in that way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's unfair. <laughs> yeah. All right. How, well, what's a different expression than? I don't know, like? but I like cat's pajamas because it's a good one. <laughs> that has nothing to do with I it. I know. <laughs> I, to... I say women are cats' pajamas because they're awesome, and I am one of them. I'm gonna make a European idiom. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this non-dusty rug. Okay, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> non-dusty rug. Yes. Gonna... All right, but whatever. <laughs> no, you guys no, are anyway, here for other stuff. Thank you We're... so much for joining. Me. Yeah, thank you for putting up with us. <laughs> We're just having fun today. Uh, speaking of International Women's Day, one of just the Oh, I don't want to curse, but she is a BA. She is a tough mm -hmm. MF. She is, <laughs> she is just awesome. We're doing a cocktail day in honor of uh, Admiral Grace Hopper. Man, she's a fierce woman. Seriously, look up her profile. We've talked about her, I believe, once before on International Women's Day a couple of years ago, but now we have this broader LinkedIn audience. So we want to make sure that she's recognized. Uh, she is a personal hero of mine, somebody that's into computer science and somebody that got into it at a slightly older age than most. Uh, Admiral Grace Hopper, and I even have my notes because I don't want to do a disservice to her. I very rarely have yeah, notes. Yeah, I was this like, Dan, are you doing? <laughs> Math, and he was. I just, well, I wanted to rattle off the yeah. stats for her because, 
All right, so Grace Hopper. Grace Hopper, if you're unfamiliar with her, she basically invented, she conceived of the idea of a compiler, uh, meaning what, what I guess we now, well, she called it a compiler, what we now call a linker, but also the idea of an abstraction of programming language. Prior to Admiral Hopper, people were pushing in punch cards. Yes, Pat, exactly. <laughs> oh, she even created the term bug? Oh, that's so cool, which I think was because there were, what, cockroaches or roaches inside Univac? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh man, she is such an awesome lady. So just another fact to add on to her list of amazing achievements. But can you explain linkers and compilers for people that aren't into computer science? Yeah, I got distracted. My ADHD kicked in. Uh, so, okay. So a linker is if you've ever clicked an exe file. So if you ever click an executable, that thing was compiled and a linker is what takes all the code and puts it into an executable and a library and all those things. So it's what makes all that stuff work together. It creates a bunch of abstract stuff, abstract code where you see people typing in code and it makes it into something that's usable to anyone. Uh, abstraction is taking those very simple like commands. So move two plus two, this byte here, those little punch cards is what people were using, but then you could create a compiler. So she had the idea for a compiler, which eventually became COBOL, which is still in use in a lot of uh, lower level programming languages. But So can we say, say we, we will thank uh, Grace Admiral Grace Hopper for this show? Literally everything <laughs> that we're doing right now yeah. electronically exists because of Admiral Grace Hopper. Like, wow. We would not be able to do any of this stuff if she hadn't created the idea of a compiler because we wouldn't be able to do development. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have programming languages. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. We She's would, very inspiring. Yeah, it would take forever. Could you imagine like we, we uh, instead of sharing this video, we would be feeding in punch cards <laughs> that would show one would be for uh, every frame. Another one would be for every Oh my every God, word. it would take forever. It would be ridiculous. But yeah, so she's here. What's that? Another out of Lovelace. Yes, exactly. Man, I'm loving this Oh, hello, everyone. Just want to give a quick shout out to everyone on LinkedIn and YouTube. So, all right, we have Vitaly. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Alexander, Pa, Jamal. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Kevin. That's my middle name. Yolanda, okay. Fanny, hello hey. everyone, Gerald, Georgetta. Thank Good you so much for joining us today. I'm so excited. Yes, but so speaking of LinkedIn, mm. I yeah. want to give a little LinkedIn-esque like inspirational yes, thing. Yes, please go ahead. It sounds like we're talking about like, this is a god of programming. Uh, she worked her butt off. Uh, Grace Hopper, these were the numbers that I was doing the calculations on because I couldn't believe it. Uh, so she was rejected from the Navy at 34, and re uh, that was during World War II, and enlisted in the Naval Reserves, where she began working on the Mark I team. And Mark I would eventually become that compiler, which we now call a linker. That was at 39. Uh, she joined the UNIVAC team, where she discovered the idea of, of a bug that I now know. Thank you, Pat. That was at 43. Oh. And she developed that first COBOL compiler slash linker. She finally finished it at 46. And the lesson there is that like she was one of the most like, like influential programmers, one of the greatest computer scientists to ever live. And she did all of that in her 40s. Mm -hmm. So don't let anybody tell you, if you want to do computer science, if you want to get into like a data or programming or innovative field. Or art. Or art, like, yeah. the same thing. Like, yeah. if, if you want to do something different with your career, mm -hmm. just look at Grace Hopper. You can freaking do it because she did it at 46. Yeah. And Very nobody impressive. was doing it then. Man. Ah. Okay. I could gush forever. <laughs> but let me talk cocktails because that's what yeah. you guys are here for, right? So, in the spirit of the Navy, even though it's a British Navy, but they were cool by, the, by World War II. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use a cocktail that combines two of my favorite cocktails and one of my least favorite cocktails into something that's kind of a better combination of the three. So my two favorite, two of my favorite cocktails uh, are Paper Plane and Jungle Bird. 
Now, Jungle Bird has some nice tropical flavors that elicit sort of like, like pair well with rum, uh, like the combination of Aperol and pineapple juice and Luxardo. And then you have the Paper Plain that pairs Luxardo, Amaro Nonino, mm -hmm. and what usually would be a, uh, a sweeter bourbon, but in it, place of it, we're using rum. And now that goes into the uh, the grog idea. So the grog goes back to naval rum rations. They wanted people to have uh, citrus so they wouldn't have scurvy. So they created this mixture of yeah. strong rum, uh, three parts rum, one part sour, which would be like a lime, <laughs> and uh, four parts water. So we're playing off that, we're riffing off that mixture a bit and doing more of a kind of a paper plane, a one to one to one to one ratio of all this stuff. But you'll also notice there's no sweet. Mm -hmm. We are not using any syrup. Uh, the Amaro Nanino and the Luxardo are gonna cover for that. And the uh, British Navy rum is uh, also rather sweet too. Mm -hmm. so Pusser's is, is a sweet rum. Now, I will also say this is the original one. It is a slightly lower proof. I think it's like 45, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure, 42%. Mm. Uh, the correct one for this cocktail, even though I just made it up, the one I wanted was the Navy Strength rum, which is uh, around 50% or more. And you would not use as much. So as an adjustment, I made this a full ounce, whereas you would probably use uh, three quarters of an ounce if you had the <clears throat> good Navy strength <laughs> rum. All right. So with that out of the way, hi, Tiffany. Hi, yes. Tiffany. Happy International Women's Day. Yes. With that out of the way, you guys have heard me ramble long enough. Oh, my gosh. Let's get to this cocktail, right? <laughs> I guess. Sure. Unless you want to hear me talk more about Grace Hopper. Always. But also the cocktail so I can paint it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, where's my, uh, where's my chat list? Oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> totally prepared. I, you know what's funny is I was just thinking to myself, wow, I've got everything laid out. It's mm -hmm. so nice. Nope, I did not. Those things. Yes. You're almost there. I'm getting there. All right. So I said one to one. So I'm going to use a one ounce to one ounce to one ounce. And you usually start with the higher value liquors first. So I'll do a Mar you know. And one day I'll have another episode on this because I will love this stuff. So we're gonna do one ounce of a Mar you know, and then oh. had to be a pirate. Okay. <laughs> that hurt my teeth even though I just watched you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly have not been to the dentist a lot. I need to go back one day. I can clean that up. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Nobody saw that. All right. A little spill. It's, it's, it's a grog. Right. It's, yeah. I'm, I'm a pirate here. All right. Which also is a big thing in programming. Mm. So, yes. All right. So, we had um, one ounce of, of <laughs> room, <laughs> one ounce of Amaro Nino. We don't like then we're going to do a yeah, We're going to do a combination now. So, uh, in a Jungle Bird, you have a little bit of... Aperol, although actually it's it's a little bit of a uh, a Campari typically, mm -hmm. but we're going to get that same slight bitterness, but we don't want it to be overwhelming because we also use it to pair with the Amaro Nino, which is what you would have in a favorite plane. But we're going to keep that kind of ratio there. We're just going to do about three quarters of an ounce of the Aperol and then a quarter ounce of the Luxardo. Luxardo can be very overwhelming. We have a lot of cool flavors going on. We don't want it to just be a Luxardo cocktail, which, you know, is good, but that's a last word if you want something like that or some other very Luxardo forward cocktail. We just want that little bit of sweet complexity into it. <laughs> yes. And then last but not least, we'll add our citrus, so the grog influence and again we're going to keep our proportions of ounces so we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of chilled pineapple juice and add about a quarter of an ounce of lime 
I'll do my little trick where I make a slice ahead of time. Oh yeah, for the garnish. For the garnish, because I like this garnish. And I'm gonna make it a bit wider than usual because I need to stick a toothpick through this thing. Should I talk about the garnish? I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a reveal, a little bit, it looks like a surprise. No. I know. no? You should, go okay. ahead and show off. Show All off right. your, your garnish. You're excited about it. What? Oh. Um. <laughs> no one can see that. There okay. you go. So uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, uh, but this garnish, Dan created it. It totally looks like an anchor because, uh, well, Admiral Grace Hopper was in the Navy. So I was like, we have to have something that represents her in that way. And so... Um, I thought that was super creative, Dan. Great job. I, know. I am so creative. So there, there you have a little anchor made out of a cherry and a lime. I tried. We well, it's funny. It was more of creativity out of necessity because we tried to find an anchor, yeah, like a swizzle stick, or and there is nothing to be found. Something along those lines. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they apparently don't exist. I do want to give a quick shout out to my sweet friend Tiffany. She is like the OG watercolor happy hour viewer and a huge supporter. And also, I'm so excited I will actually get to meet her in person uh, in just a couple of weeks at Cherry Bombs Jubilee in New York City. So, um, thank you so much for your continued support, Tiffany. And I cannot wait to enjoy some delicious whatevers together. Also, yeah, way, way to bury that lead. You're going to well, be at Cherry Bomb Jubilee in oh, New York. Oh, well, it's, um, I, we're just attending. We're not, I'm not, you're, yeah. It's still pretty cool. But you work with Cherry Bomb. I'm excited, yes, very yes. excited. <laughs> yes, although, I mean, you did have a pretty big event. Was that two days ago? Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. yesterday. You know what, brag about it a little bit. It's Woman's Day. You should, or yesterday was Woman's Day. Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, I give you complete permission. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dan. <laughs> As a man. Oh my God. <laughs> let me give you permission on Woman's Day. He doesn't mean it, you guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to, I guess, share. Um, I had the absolute honor to visit the American Airlines headquarters yesterday. Uh, so another honor they. They commissioned me to create a watercolor illustration of an airplane in the clouds, and uh, I, and it was part of their event celebrating International Women's Day, and it was an event for women in leadership. And so every attendee got a framed, um, you know, copy of my artwork so that they could have at their desk or at home. And oh my God, it was just like it was the coolest building, the nicest people. It was such a great time. And truly, I just like can't believe that they invited me and wanted to work with me. Yeah. <laughs> Huge this, honor. This is so. what I wanted you to talk about. Like, look at you, you're like beaming. You're uh, so happy about it. Yeah, and it's thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You should have seen her when she came in. She was just floating. <laughs> she was so happy. Thank you. Oh, it was wonderful. Oh, I'm so proud. All right, okay, so. On that, now let's annoy everybody by shaking the crap out of this yes. cocktail. I'm going to step away for a moment and <laughs> shake this thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweet friends. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> and, and Sweet is recommending a uh, uh, Payaki in NYC. I don't think I've been there. I think oh. I've been there. Yes, Chef Tweet, please send us your recommendations yeah. for for New York City. Because I know you spent some time there and uh, I trust I trust your taste. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yolanda. Oh Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany said, um, my sister was a flight attendant for AA and your creative vibes absolutely match their company ethos. Oh, thank you. Thank mm. you so much. Yeah, that's just big respect for Yeah. Her. Also so really bad. excited to take um, American Airlines to see my parents this weekend. Oh, <laughs> that, that was that happened before. Uh, I booked that flight before they invited me, so it's not like you know, I feel obligated, but I am very honored. <laughs> yes. Um, All right, back to the cocktail. Yeah, and now we have this nice. No, no, you got to oh, put it here. I'm, I'm, oh, sorry. Here to the closer That's camera. Weird. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there we so go. We put it here so you guys can see that, and then we're gonna 
compose our garnish. I'm just going to take this. Yeah, do you, do you remember what it looks like? Okay, it looks like an anchor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we just take this guy and slice off half our wedge for the bottom of the anchor. Put this over here very carefully. And then we just take our skewer and we lay it down sideways and make Volta nervous even though my hand is nowhere near it. Ugh. Yeah, close enough. Yeah. And see we have the top yeah. like that. Little and we take a bright red cherry. Why'd you, why'd you bring stem. out the Luxardo ones? Well, because one, they taste better and they're going to act as our ballast. Oh, okay. Because this thing is kind of top heavy. What is a ballast? Is it like one of those things it, for the anchor? It, yes, it balances okay. it mm -hmm. balances the anchor. Because mm -hmm. this is just for show. Yeah. If you want this at the top. Mm -hmm. Well, your, your, your hand's in the, oh, in the frame. Oops, boy, I'm terrible with that. So we want our anchor here. <laughs> there ah, you go, you got yes. it. <laughs> we want our anchor here. Yeah. And then we're going to take our Luxardo cherries. Can you open that? Yeah, closer? I'm very strong, so let me open this for you, Dan. Yes, I'm sorry. I give I'm you just... permission to use this cherry. If you could, <laughs> if you could, dear. All right, so we're just going to grab a couple of these like very dense and, and yeah. sweet Luxardo mm -hmm. cherries Delicious. to kind of act as a, uh, a balance and also provide a little bit of a nice compliment to the rest of the there cocktail. You go. Yeah. And then there we go. See the cherries will hold oh. the garnish down so I don't have to Burger like way. slice the thing yeah. up. Here, let me move this guy. There you go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks just like my painting. Yes. Great job, Dan. And then there you go. <laughs> and now we get to try. Yeah. I I'll, I'll let you try this in um hmm. Describe yeah, this is this is very much a me cocktail. The flavors. Uh, it's it's heavily uh, tropical influenced in the, yeah. the tropical and style it's cocktail. Very rummy. Yes, and you're not um, a huge fan. Actually, I'm, I'm not a, a rum person, but if you like rum, this beverage is for you. This one doesn't actually taste as much like rum. You may even yeah. like it. It tastes much more just like pineapple and. Okay, I feel like this is, this one tastes better than the first one you made. Yeah, I may have added a little, gone a little heavier on the rum when yeah. I first made it. Yeah. But yeah, that's not bad. Easy on the rum. Yeah. And that's perfect. And it's very, like, it gets a little more watery in a good way than a typical cocktail. Yes. Cheers yeah. to our Mamma Mia's. Yes. Moldovan Mamma Mia and Italian Mamma Mia. <laughs> yeah. Cheers for European and multicultural yes. families. <laughs> Mm. All right, is it time to paint? Yes, it oh, is. Get this out of the frame. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I got this nasty sponge. Sorry, mm. you guys. <laughs> there, there's the photo. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, no, you just put me in there. <laughs> no, I'm moving it. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> now people can watch me as I just slowly move around and clean up. <sighs> Okay, now for the fun part. <laughs> what? The whole thing this, was fun. Okay, the second fun part. And whatever you say, dear. <laughs> All right. Like you may want to move the microphone so people can oh, hear yes. you. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for that. There you go. All right, so uh, if you guys um, have tuned in into the past uh, episodes, you might have noticed we have a brand new glass to work with. I'm um, so glad because I was kind of getting tired of those like regular ones. Um, so this one is going to be uh, fairly easy as well. So we're going to start with two parallel lines kind of, these are going to be the wider lines at the top. So kind of get us started. They're uh, not, okay, I said parallel, but they're a little bit slanted. It's not totally parallel. Uh, and then they're going to be the other, these two lines are just going to be a little bit more narrow. So this glass kind of comes in a little bit. And we have the other line again, slightly towards, they're pointing towards each other. Mm. Yolanda's got a, such a nice compromise. The second fun part. Uh, the second fun part. Thank you, Yolanda. <laughs> uh, and then at the bottom here, we just have like a slightly curved line. And you'll see that uh, I'm going to do the three partitions in the glass next. And that's just going to be, let's 
see two lines kind of separating or slicing this area into three three areas and then uh, we're going to have two or not two three three little curves at the top all right so that's kind of like the basic uh structure of this type of loss and then at the top again usually we have a slightly curved line and I'm just going to go ahead and sketch out these two ice cubes and they're roughly little square shapes that are just kind of peeking out at the surface of the glass and then we have this line to represent the other side of the glass behind the ice cubes and uh, finally for the garnish so the uh, the lime slice is just going to be kind of like this half uh, oval shape. So we've got a straight line and then a curved line. Uh, and then there's this little little line that is the skewer or the toothpick. And then finally we got a little cherry on top with a stem. So to resemble our anchor shape. Oh, and we got a uh, nice compliment from Alexander. Says, OMG, I love this. Oh, thanks, Alexander. He's a fellow uh, capper from the LinkedIn uh, Creator Accelerator Program. I'm just so grateful for this opportunity to get connected with so many creative people from all kinds of backgrounds and industries. It's just, honestly, I... <laughs> I could gush about LinkedIn as well, <laughs> and maybe I will one day and just like make a whole episode just about all my reasons why I love LinkedIn. Uh, but for now, we will keep on with our uh, Grace Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. No, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong about being happy. Like genuinely happy. Like it's not. It's not BS. Like this is this is an yeah. awesome thing that LinkedIn did. Yeah. And yeah. We absolutely will celebrate it. All right, so now uh, for the fun part of the second fun part is the, actually the watercolors. Uh, so for this cocktail, uh, as you might have noticed in, in the, the video stream, the colors were very much kind of like light orange. So I'm just going to grab this warmer orange in my palette. And I'll just start painting. Kind of these areas. I do want to leave a little bit of blank space in between these shapes just so that uh, it has a more of a dramatic effect like you can see the ridges of the glass. So that helps with that. And then at the top here, I'm just going to sketch out a curve just to show the contents of the beverage. And fill this in. So right now I'm thinking this is a little too yellowy for me, so I'm going to grab kind of like a darker, deeper orange from my palette. Or you could also add a little bit more red if you need to. I could have done a Aperol float on it to make it ah, ombre. Yeah. That would have been nice. So I'm dropping some of this darker orange into these kind of corners of, of the beverage so that it looks like there's a little bit of a cast shadow and also because it looks cool. Oh, that is neat. So that's how you make it look kind of like, like an art yeah. to give the shadow, the depth. Yeah. So definitely start out with a lighter color first and then add your darker colors on top of that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to clean off my brush and also lift off just a bit for my highlights here. Make sure to clean off your brush after every time just so that you can retain those lighter areas. But sometimes you might need to work a little bit harder to get those highlights, but just be patient and keep doing this until you have a result that you're happy with. You know what's funny, Volta, is I, 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 for the past, like, 
three months. We totally forgot why we did this as a date night for people. Hell yeah. We haven't reminded them that it's a whole it's a whole thing. We need to we need to get back into that intro. Oh yeah. Because it's supposed to be a date night where, you That's know, right. you and your significant other, because there's so many people like us that one's more into cocktails and the other's more into art, that you can yeah. enjoy a, a cocktail and a painting session for together. Now. No, it's yeah. for anybody, like yeah. anybody that wants to enjoy a cocktail. Mm -hmm. You can have a date night with yourself. Absolutely. I learned that from the Muppets movie. Aww. I love the Muppets. Thank you, Amy Adams. Right. That's a reference that most people probably won't get. Or maybe they will. I don't know. It was a popular movie. I don't know. So next up is <laughs> <laughs> our main slice. <sighs> and for for the inner parts of the lime, I'm using kind of a yellowy green, just so that it's a little bit lighter. And sketching out these little slices and just adding a couple of brush strokes to represent the lime. And then let's see, uh, for the cherry, I'm using kind of a, a cooler red. So it's just a red that has um, more of a, a, like a blue kind of darker feel to it. So it's not warm, it doesn't have yellow. And I'll use that for the cherry. And of course, I also want to lift off a little tiny highlight on the left hand side. That's where my light source is coming from. Anytime you add a little tiny like highlight or shadow, it just uh, transforms any any like simple sketch into something more more special, more fun. All right. So I'm going to use just a little bit of blue, very light. Okay, this is very dark blue. Very light blue <laughs> at here to uh, to kind of outline the ice cubes. Just FYI, Walter, Yolanda loves the Muppet movie. Oh, Yolanda! Um, I know that you weren't appreciating my joke, but at least somebody does. Oh, I appreciate your jokes, Dan. In your own way. In my own way. <laughs> uh, another thing that you could do here. Uh, you could outline the whole glass in like a light blue or gray. I'm just going to leave this one as is because I kind of like um, the way this looks with just like really dark pencil lines. And then the last thing I'll add is a cast shadow. So light source is coming from this direction, from the left. So the cast shadow is going to be on the right. And we're just going to sketch a little kind of little shape underneath the glass and off to the side. And I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna soften, soften these lines. Are people having trouble hearing me? No. I got a, uh, I get, I get a, a, a DM from one of our, our friends that you oh. sounded a bit muffled. Oh, I didn't muffled. wanna, I didn't wanna distract you. Oh, okay. All right, well, hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> and then you whisper. <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> As you yell Apologies. into the microphone. Apologies for the muff. No, uh, the sweet friend Brooke says, so cool, still working on the highlight lift. I'll get there one day. Aw, thank you, Brooksy. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, there you have it, uh, our the Grace Hopper Inspired Cocktail with a little anchor for a garnish. Yeah, we can just call it the Grace Hopper. The Grace Hopper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so anyway, uh, how's Grace everyone doing? <laughs> hey, it's me. Well, thank you everyone so much for tuning in and for helping us celebrate our moms. Okay. Yes. <laughs> And International Women's Day, I feel like, is a state of mind. It, it happens every day, in case you forgot. <laughs> so, every day is International uh, Women's yes, Day. Yes, I think every day merits um, a celebration of a woman somewhere in the world because we know ladies get stuff done. 
-hmm. And the guys that support us also are very important. <laughs> yes, I know I make jokes, but I'm yeah, I'm I'm here for you. Yes, thank you, thank you so much, everyone, and um, we'll see you next. Actually, no, next week we are taking a break. Uh, I will be traveling to visit my parents, but the week after that we'll be back with another fun cocktail. So we'll see you then. Yeah, anything. I, I want to use a Glen Carn so that Volta has something else to yeah, drink. Yeah, something else so to paint. So any suggestions, feel free to uh, hit me up on LinkedIn. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Bye. Happy International Women's Day.